Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe and give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, be nice. <laughs> That's very important. Uh, but anyways, I wanted to come up with a skincare video. Uh, I think I posted a skincare video like last year. Yeah, it's been a while and um, ever since, of course, I've changed my skincare routine and products that I've been using and everything. So I wanted to show you what I've been using now that I feel like has really, really changed the game for me. It's really improved my skin. Uh, I feel like my skin has gotten like such a better texture. I, I feel like I used to have like very like large pores and a lot of like hyperpigmentation. Every time I broke out, I would have like a very like dark spot for a long time. And I, I don't experience that anymore. I feel like my pores look significantly smaller uh, so the overall texture has gotten so much better and uh, yeah I don't really have like any dark spots at the moment like like if I have a, a, like some sort of pigmentation it's very minimal and yeah I think the overall look and appearance of my skin has gotten so much better after I started using what I'm gonna show you right now. I start with this product right here, which is a cleanser. This is the, wait, no. This is the moisturizer, this one is the cleanser. So everything I'm using is from The Ordinary. Uh, I feel like this brand is very very um efficient on their claims and it's very affordable as well comparing to other brands this is like a very affordable but effective brand uh, so this is the squalane cleanser And when I first got this product, I was a little confused. I feel like I didn't really know how to use it because it was my first time using this kind of product because this is a cream to, it's like a balmy to cream kind of like lotion, but it's a cleanser. So this is best applied to dry skin. I'm gonna show you, I apply uh, probably like this much product. And as you can see, it has like this creamy texture. And um, as you rub it into your skin, it kind of like gets kind of like oily so it's basically like a balm and I really like massage it into my skin in circular motions like this And I go everywhere, on my eyelids, around my eyes. It doesn't irritate my eyes. I go on my nose like this. This product is also considered a makeup remover. So a lot of times when I go out and I wear makeup, I can go directly with this cleanser and um, it breaks down every single bit of makeup that's like sitting on your skin. And what I like about this product is that when you rinse it off, it gives you this very clean sensation to your skin, 
without feeling dry or stripped. It just removes the dirt, uh, the, the sebum, it cleans your, your pores and it gives you like this very smooth, clean and supple feeling to your skin after you rinse it off. To remove the product off my face, I can either rinse it off with water and uh, when the water gets in touch with the product on the face, it completely melts off your face and you have no uh, feeling of like having residue sitting on your skin. The water like really washes everything off. Uh, but I'm, what I'm gonna do is wet this little white towel. This is like a like a regular, you know, washcloth that I use for my face. So I'm gonna wet it with warm water and I'm gonna wipe it away. Um, using a cloth like this to wipe your cleanser off your face uh gives you this almost like a like a exfoliation kind of um, treatment because of the fibers of the, on the towel and yeah that's what i'm gonna do so i've wet my towel now i'm gonna gently wipe my face and remove the cleanser And this feels really, really good. So next product that I use is this product right here. This is the glycolic acid, uh, 7% Tony solution, pH 3.6. Uh, so yeah, it's basically like a toner, but it has uh, glycolic acid in it, which is, um, a very potent ingredient on uh, antioxidant. It goes deep into like the la deeper layers of your skin. So I just wet this cotton pad with the product and then I start applying it to my face. So the glycolic acid is really good at improving the, stack, the texture on your skin, uh, making the, the pores uh, appear smaller, and it helps smoothing the fine lines. Um, so yeah, this is really good. So that is that. I let it um, dry down. I let my skin absorb everything before I go into the next step. So the next product that I'm gonna use, it's this serum right here, uh, which is a lactic acid, 10% HA, uh, a high strength lactic acid superficial peeling formulation lactic acid increases the cell turnover and it helps to eliminate uh, accumulated dead skin and also it helps to smooth your skin uh, so basically it's acting on your on the texture of your skin the lactic acid um, works on the top layers of your skin uh, helping your skin look firmer and thicker. Uh, next, I'm gonna use this caffeine solution 5% EGCG, reduces appearance of eye contour pigmentation and of puffiness. So this is a um, serum for your eye and uh, as the name says, it contains uh, caffeine which helps uh, reducing 
the darker pigmentation that you might have around your eyes. And if you have any puffiness, that helps as well. So I just go lightly around my eyes with this. Everywhere I go around on my eyelids. This is also gonna help smooth in any fine lines. Now I go into the next step, which is going to be two serums that I like to mix, which is the Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1%. Uh, it's a high strength uh, vitamin and mineral blemish formula. So the niacinamide is very good for correcting any blemishes that you might have on your skin. Um, and it has, you know, like this uh, vitamins and minerals in it. So it's really, really good for uh, someone who has darker pigmentation. And also the Alpha Arbutin 2% HA, a, a concentrated serum with 2% purified Alpha Arbutin and hyal hyaluronic acid. So the Alpha Arbutin is also a ingredient that is meant to correct dark spots on your face. So I like to mix them together. So I feel like they work really well in conjunction on my skin so i take one drop yeah maybe a little bit more that much of the alpha arbutin and a drop of the niacinamide A little bit more. Yeah, that much. So that again, I work in the palms on my hands and I apply it all over. As you can see, I like to press this product on my skin and like really push it in. And these serums together, they have like this very tacky, kind of like consistency. So as you apply it to your face, you can see that it's, it has like this kind of like sticky feeling. So that's why I like to press it rather than like rub it. Okay, so once I feel that that has been absorbed completely, I move on to the next product. And this is the last serum that I'm gonna use. Uh, this one has a very kind of like oily consistency. So that's why I like to use this last on top of um, everything that I have on. Previously advanced retinoid 2%. And again, the retinoid is acting on the um, uh, texture of my skin. Uh, the retinoid boosts collagen and also reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and the overall, you know, texture of your skin. So, and this one has a very interesting texture because it's kind of like milky, as you can see. But it's also kind of like oily. And I actually do have like oily, like normal to oily. So basically like, like a combination skin. I have usually like uh, oily T-zone, which is forehead, nose, 
that's it. Everywhere else is normal. Um, I might get oily around this area as well. Uh, but yeah, every time I use this product, I feel like I don't get as oily. Like, it really controls the sebum production on my skin, if that makes sense. Once everything settles in and my skin like drinks everything up, uh, I have like this radiance to my face, but it's not oily. Moisturizer. And this is the Natural Moisturizer Factors HA Surface Hydration Formula. It's basically a um, normal cream uh, moisturizer, but it has hyaluronic acid in it, so it's very hydrating. I use about this much. Again, work it into the palms on my hands and then apply it. And as I applied this lotion, I can already feel my skin like so smooth, like not bumpy at all. My hands like just glide on top of my face. Two more products to use and the next product is gonna be this vitamin C suspension. Uh, 30% in silicone. It's a water-free, stable suspension kind of formula. You know, usually uh, vitamin C products contain 2%, 3%, 5% max, and this one has 30%, which is like, it's a lot. So this really works, and you have to be careful with this because it can um, either be a little um, harsh on your skin if you have sensitive skin or, or you could burn your skin. So I use like this much, literally like a pea size or maybe even less than that. I spread it like this ev evenly on the tip of my fingers and I gently press it everywhere on my face. After I press it in, then I go and rub it in. It's almost like this silicone primers that you use before makeup to like fill in pores and um, smooth your skin before you apply makeup. Last but not least, I'm going to use a SPF. And this one is a mineral SPF with antioxidants. And it's a SPF 15. Um, I wish it was a little bit higher um, on the protection spectrum because uh, it's only 15. It could have been maybe like a 30, SPF 30. But I feel like I don't really need that much protection if I'm not gonna be like exposed in the sun. Uh, so I feel like this is enough whenever, you know, you're indoors, you're, you go to work, like you, you're, you're not exposed to the sun. Um, if I know that I'm gonna be in the sun, like if I go to the beach or to the pool or something, uh, I would choose something with a higher protection. Uh, but anyways, this is really great product. When I first got it, I actually hated it. This has a very thick consistency and it's very, it gives you that wide cast if you don't know how to use it. If you don't really work it into your skin and blend it in, it'll give you a wide cast. But this is how I use. I 
get like about this much. I really work it into my, my, the palms of my hands and then I apply it. So now I very much love this sunscreen because once it dries down, it does not move and it does not budge and it holds my skin matte for the whole entire day. It doesn't matter if I'm like running around and uh, if I'm tired, if it's hot, it really holds my face mattified like for the whole entire day. And um, if I wear makeup on top of it, also amazing, perfect. It holds everything in place. Um, concealer does not crease, foundation does not crease, everything stays put like all day. So it's a really good skincare. It's a really good um, sunscreen and it's a great primer for makeup. Now you can forget about your lips. Your lips also need hydration. Um, this is the Moisturizing Lip Balm from Sephora. This is amazing. It's so hydrating on the lips and it's also kind of like tinted. So it gives you a little bit of color but nothing crazy. It's just like super moisturizing and it feels really good. Lastly, this is optional, but it's something that I've been using and I've been really enjoying. It's the Multi-Peptide Lash and Brow Serum from The Ordinary as well. So this is a, it's basically a serum to, um, to make your eyelashes grow thicker and longer and also to thicken your eyebrows. If you have like very sparse uh, eyebrows, like thin eyebrows, this will help your eyebrows grow thicker and the hairs look thicker as well and stronger. Uh, I don't know, I've been using this for quite some time. I would say like at least six months. And I do think my lashes look thicker, fuller, and a little bit longer as well. As well as my brows, like I feel like my brows have gotten better. I don't know, it could be in my head, but I think this is working and uh, why not use it you know like it's not gonna make it's not gonna make it look worse if anything it's gonna make it look better so i'd see i see that way so this is what it looks like it's a little one like this that you close your eye and you go like in the roots of your eyelashes and you can also apply it to the bottom lash line as well carefully Same thing for your brows, you just go lightly everywhere.
let me know if you've tried any, any of these products if they have worked for you or if you have any question please let me know also i'm not a dermatologist i'm not any like skin professional or expert um i just try to watch things on here on youtube and do my own research on what's gonna be the most suitable for my skin concerns and uh, yeah this is what i found to be appropriate for my skin type and i think that's help improve my skin uh, and i hope it helps you as well so yeah i hope you liked it please make sure you subscribe to the channel give me a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in the next one bye